welcome to another video and in this video we're going to take a look at how we can make this character how we can put him inside this car and how we can make him steer the vehicle so we can go into first person and if we try to steer our vehicle actually we can just see it in here he is going to steer and the wheels will turn as well which is very cool so obviously we can drive the car if we want to okay now that we are in our modeling scene this is what we have in here we have our character and we have our wheel so you can grab this character into a mix ammo which is a free site you can just go and choose any character you want maybe you want this racer and then you go into these animations and you choose one of these animations like this one for example and then you download it so after you download it this is what you end up with you end up with this character so the cool thing about this is that you can grab any of his limbs first you're gonna unpack it obviously this has to be a skin mesh render if you don't have that you probably didn't import it the right way and the cool thing is that you can grab any of his limbs and position them anywhere you want them so you can straighten up his arms like in here and there we go now he looks like he is holding the steering wheel so obviously you're going to position him into the driving seat which is exactly what I've done in here and you're going to stretch his arms into the steering wheel after you do that you are going to add in a animator after adding a animator go to window animation and animation now I already have some animations in here as we can see this is the animation that I've built it's a very simple animation as we can see and for the sake of this tutorial I'll create a new temporary animation which has nothing in it and what you're going to do is hit this record button after you do that you're going to grab this line and position it somewhere into 0.50 after you position this line into where you want to go to your character navigate into one of his limbs and then make him steer okay so this is what i ended up with it's a very simple animation of his hand moving up and the cool thing is that this has recorded all of my movements so if i drag this line into position zero we're going to see that his hand moves up now there is a very slight issue that it clips through the steering wheel and there is a very simple fix for that you go somewhere into the middle and then you do your animations okay so now we have a nice animation you're going to repeat that process for this hand as well so obviously this hand will go underneath and what you should be left with is something that looks like this and then you're going to do the same thing for turning right and that is basically it so after you're done with that you don't need this window anymore so we're going to close that go to window animation and this time click animator so in your animator you're not going to see this blend tree obviously so you're going to create a new blend tree this is what a blend tree looks like now the reason that I'm using a blend tree is that it has this slider in here now the reason we need this is because we can just simply transition between animations the way you set this blend tree up is very straightforward you have these motions in here you add in new motions you drag in your animations into these motions and then you define these thresholds so after you do all of that all that's left for you to do is to trigger those animations so the way I have been triggering these animations is using this animator and into your update 
or you can use a fixed update, you're simply going to set a float into a turn angle. This turn angle is this parameter in here that I have defined. This goes from minus one all the way over to one. And because I don't want this animation to snap from turning left into turning right, I am using a very simple lerp function. Okay, so that covers up the animation of the character. Now, if you want this steering wheel to rotate as well, that is a little bit more complicated. And the reason is that if you drag your steering wheel and you toggle the local rotations, this is going to steer very, very fine, obviously, as we can see in here. But the problem is that if we rotate only one axis, as we can see in here, all of these change. So what you end up with is this animations. So obviously we don't want this. So the workaround for that, that I came up with is by making a child object. What I've done in here is I've added a brand new game object that has nothing inside it. And as a child object of that object, I have the steering wheel. Now, even in local, this steering wheel doesn't steer very well, as we can see in here. But the parent object of this one is steering perfectly fine. And as we can see in here, it is only changing one axis, which is exactly what we want. So after you're done making these child objects, all that's left for you to do is to rotate that object. So to do that, the syntax is quite simple. You're going to do the game object of the steering wheel, transform local rotation, and the local rotation is equal to quaternion Euler. We want these axes to be zero. So the X and the Z axis are zero. And the Y axis is the one that changes. So we just give it to this lerped value. And that is basically it. So if you've done everything correctly, this is what you should end up with. Obviously, you probably have done better animations than me, but this is what you should end up with. You can obviously drive the car. And that is it about this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you found it interesting. And I'll see you in the next videos.